Hello, welcome back to another 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. I am here on my own again. I've got a nice summary beer this time from the USA. First brew 2008. Uh, it's 5.7 in the book. It's 5.3 now. And the name has changed ever so slightly, but it's the same beer. So in the book, it's the brewery Orchard White. Now it's Brewery Taru. Orchard Wit. Now, Brewery True is the name for their, is, is like a sub brand of the, of the brewery, uh, which is the name of the actual um, uh, brewery. They just spell it slightly differently. And instead of Orchard White, it's Orchard Wit, which means exactly the same thing. So, the same brewery, uh, roughly the same beer, although it's changed over society, but you can't actually get the, the other one anymore. So, this is now the one they do. Um, so, love the design, really classic. It looks really, really nice. I love the sort of design and the kind of the wallpaper. Uh, a bit right there. It says, tart wheat beer brewed with spices and Asian oak fooder. Refreshing, crisp, witty. When it says witty, it means white, of course. Um, okay. It's best served in a tulip or wine glass, but that's okay. I have my tulip glass here. So, let us, wow, tulip ish. So, let's crack this open. I haven't had a wheat, I haven't reviewed a wheat beer for ages. Oh look, they've got their social media in the underside bottle cap there. That's quite fun. Now, is it still bottle conditioned? I think it might be actually. Yeah, it is. It's bottle conditioned. So I'm going to leave the remnants in the bottom there. Um, so, it says, Orchard White is a slightly cloudy amber with a billowy white head. Not really getting the billowy white head. The nose is rich and complex with floral, citrus and pepper aromas. I get all of those. get very, very a lot of citrus. The flavours are equally complex, with refreshing wheat character, a fresh effervescent mouthfeel, and spicy lavender and zesty citrus notes. Well, I think I'm going to enjoy this. Um, so... It is exactly what it says it is, so I'm going to go straight for the taste. Cheers. Oh, it's slightly sour. Oh, I like that. That is very, very nice indeed. Um, sort of sour, citrusy. Um, doesn't, I think this has changed over society. I didn't think it used to be quite as sour. Um, but... It's undeniably the same beer when they call it Orchard White and Orchard Wet. So, uh, um, yeah, this is really good. Um, floral, tart, citrusy, wheaty. Not too wheaty, actually. It's not a wheat beer in the traditional sense and the basis that you expect to be really hazy. Uh, I imagine it probably would be a bit more if I poured in the, the, bot the, the bottle conditioned bits, but... I'm keeping that one there, but it is, it's got a dimple there. Um, it's, I should have said anything about any ingredients. All our beers are craft, but enjoy fresh. Well, you would have hoped so. Um, gives you the acid level, the ideal serving temperature, and a government warning. And they give cash refunds to the bottle in certain states. Please pour carefully, leaving the yeast sediment behind the bottle. Okay, so I was crap to do that. Uh, I'm glad I did that. Um, it's got really chunky uh, top here. And the bottle cap itself is actually a lot bigger than usual. Um, I'm not quite sure why they've done that, but it works quite well. It's a nice bottle. Um, let's have another taste. Very refreshing. It'd be really nice on a hot summer's day, this one. Um, so the brewery itself is in... Orange County in California. Um, I I can't remember whether I bought this back from America. I bought it online. I think I might have bought it online. Uh, not quite sure where from, but anyway, I got hold of it. Uh, I think I've seen it a few times since as well. It's one of those ones. This this these guys are actually becoming far more. Uh, they're coming into the UK quite a lot. Very interesting. The story says they actually started in two thousand eight. Uh, it's one of the first bits they did. They went from three to a dozen employees and then got started selling in 10 states to the US. Um, and then they, uh, that, oh, they specialise in unique Belgian style and Belgian aspired ales. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously now the beers are going worldwide, which is at least to the UK. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to um, 
go and enjoy this lovely sort of tarty citrusy wheat beer. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for another beer review very, very soon.